In this video, we're going to take a look at the request param annotation in Spring Boot. The request param annotation allows us to get values from a URL, the name value pairs that you often see in a URL. Let's take a look at how it works. So I'm going to go to the application that I've been writing, and I just did a commit and push after the last video, so we can start fresh here. We have several methods in this class. To keep things distinct, what I'm going to do is just take one of my existing methods and clone it and we'll give it a new endpoint so that we can look at this separately. So uh, I'll use an endpoint of, let's say, add specimen. And not going to worry about the headers. We'll keep the get method in there. That's fine because uh, we are indeed going to use a get method. But I will take out the headers information so we end up with a simple method. And we'll go ahead and call the method add specimen as well and save. Okay. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do, go ahead and terminate this. I'm going to borrow the guts of this method up here because it's doing some operations I want to borrow. It's essentially just getting a populated specimen DTL. So we'll go ahead and copy that and paste down here. And there we go, looking a little bit better. Now, this one, one interesting thing I mentioned in a previous video is that if we want to push data to the HTML page or to the template that's rendered here, we need a model object. And the way to get a model object is kind of weird if you're not used to Spring Boot, if you're used to traditional Java like me. The way to get a model object is to simply add it to the method signature of the method that's handling this endpoint. So model, model, just like so. So by the way, this just getting us ready. Uh, I haven't done the actual, the actual annotation that we want to get our parameters, but just confirming that we can get things ready. So I see. And I paused the video for a minute and just quickly restarted so that we can confirm that this works as we think it does. And sure enough, we see, welcome to plant places. Your specimen is a beautiful eastern red bud. Okay, now what if I do question mark and I say latitude equals, and we'll say, uh, we'll say 52. We'll go up around uh, London on latitude. Question mark, latitude equals 52. You see no changes. And so what we want to do here is we want to take this 52 and let's show that as our latitude if it has been supplied by the user. So I go back to Eclipse and I go to our endpoint mapping here for add specimen that we created earlier. Now, do you remember when I said how we're going to get that model object? We add it as a parameter to this method, which feels kind of weird. But nonetheless, that's the same way we can get those name value pairs from that URL. So let's put a comma and then let's say string latitude. Okay, easy enough, right? But how do we know that that latitude should be populated from the URL name value pairs? Well, this is where the annotation comes in. And note that we can drop the annotation right here in the method signature. So at request param, spelled correctly, and you may need to import this. Um, I've already imported it, but you might need to import it. So request param, and then what we're going to say is value equals latitude. That's and then put latitude in quotes, terminate with a uh, close paren. I, I will say that's a little bit confusing because value equals latitude. What we're actually talking about is the name here and this name value pair. A little confusing because the value we want is what comes after the equals. The name is what comes before the equals. But nonetheless, here we're going to say value equals latitude. And then we get a string latitude from that. Okay, so let's confirm that the thing works as we think it does. So specimen DTO. Remember what's happening here is we're taking this object and we're passing it to our template. So specimen DTO dot set latitude and boom, let's put in whatever latitude we gathered from the user uh, up here in our request mapping endpoint. So save, let's go ahead and restart. Give it just a moment to restart. And now let's go back and let's see what happens when we have latitude equals 52. Uh, if all works well, I'm expecting the latitude here of 39.74 to be replaced with 52. And sure enough, there it is. It's been replaced with 52, 52.01. If you want to see it, boom, there we go. So you see the data has come in and it has been replaced. Now, what if I don't have latitude at all? Ooh, error page. Okay, so we need a way to say that this is an optional parameter. And we can do that with our annotation as well. Where you see value equals latitude, what we can do, whoops, what we can do is then say comma required equals false. And if we want to be extra careful, we can give it a default value if nothing's been provided. So we'll say default 
value equals, and then we'll just go with the good old fashioned uh, 0, 0.0, we'll say we're right at the equator. So notice that request param is not just an annotation, but it, ha it has several attributes that we can provide. What are we trying to get from the URL? Do we have to get it? If we don't get it, what do we get in response? So save, and let's go back and try this one more time and take a look. Sure enough, it's defaulted to 0, 0.0. If I go back and I say question mark latitude equals 5201 again, do we get 5201? We sure do. And in my opinion, the best way to learn something programming wise is to debug through it. So I've snapped a breakpoint. Let's take a quick look on the debugger. Uh, I'll change this. We'll go, we'll do Iceland. We'll do 66.0 and enter. Now you see Eclipse is lighting up orange so we can step into the debugger. And sure enough, we're at the add specimen endpoint, the add specimen method. And let's scroll over a bit. And we can take a look at this latitude value. Little we'll mouse over, you see 66.0, just as we saw earlier uh, when I put it into the browser. So we're going to fetch our specimen, F6 to step over that line. I mouse over the specimen and you see that the latitude is 39.74. But take a look as I execute line number 46. Let's look at that specimen one more time. And you see now, as you see in red, the latitude is 66.0, F8. It renders 66.0 and we're complete. So this has been a look at the request param annotation in Spring Boot. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.